While attempts to address Jamaica's struggles with math passes are currently being explored, some stakeholders still have reservations about where priorities should be placed. Joel Crosskill has that story. As policymakers and educators seek solutions to the recurring decimal of poor maths performance among Jamaican students, President of the Jamaica Association of Principals and Vice Principals, Japs, Linvern Wright, has shared his perspectives on the latest suggestions to remedy the problem of increasing the hours of study for the subject. What I had hoped to hear is that we have an influx of mathematics teachers to complement the shortage that we have now or to complement even the numbers we have. Because there's none of us who would deny that students need more time on tasks, that they need more time to practice. But what I, what I had hoped was that the minister or the, 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 the permanent secretary had a proposal that said that we have some teachers who want to increase the number of hours in a school and we're going to give each school a teacher. So about 200 high schools would expect you know, 200 new teachers to help us to increase the number of hours for the students. But it's an impractical suggestion. It is, it is not properly thought out. And it, is, it, it has not been properly thought out because if, 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 if it were properly thought out, then you would know that you would have to have some teachers to do that. The JAPS president said that if the intention is to increase the hours of study using only the existing cohort of teachers, it's likely to cause additional complications. The truth is that some of our best people are not going into mathematics. And I keep on saying it, I say it to my colleagues, not even teachers, if their child is getting a one in mathematics, want that child to go and teach mathematics. Because when you get a one in mathematics, you want to go into things like engineering that you're going to be making some money from. Where the permanent secretary and the minister of education needs to be taking things from is ensuring that there is something that incentivizes the best to come into teaching mathematics and teaching science and teaching those subjects that figure are short. That is what we need to be talking about. As that we also have to ensure that people who are strong in mathematics are teaching at the primary level too, right? So it's not just high school level because we have a shortage of quality. We have a sh and once we have a shortage of quality, we are going to continue to have this issue. Interestingly, MP for Central Kingston, Donovan Williams, while distributing tablets contributed by the Universal Service Fund to students at Holy Trinity High School recently, shared what strategy is being taken in his constituency to remedy the shortage of teachers at the PEP level. Now we realize that we have a challenge uh, in relation to math, and so we have come up with a plan to help our PEP students prepare and so we will be embarking upon a PEP math program, preparation program in the constituency and we are calling upon you know teachers in the constituency. We have a lot of volunteers, we have competent teachers and you know some of the past students of these schools still residing in the community and we will be calling upon these talent to assist us with in helping our PEP students prepare for their math, the math component of the PEP, because we recognize that, there's, that, that that is a challenge. And of course, this will supplement the schools. We, we have a lot of schools in Central Kingston. We have over a dozen schools in Central Kingston, you know, ranging from high schools, primary schools. And so this is the education capital of Kingston. And so we will be seeking to prepare our PEP students from our perspective for success. Joel Crosskill, CVM News.